Hey folks, so there are thousands of productivity apps, calendar systems, and to-do lists that you can use on a daily basis, and it can feel pretty overwhelming to find effective and helpful apps to use. So in today's video, in the Habit series, I've done the hard work for you, and have come up with my top five free productivity apps to use this year. In putting together this list, I downloaded hundreds of highly recommended apps to my computer and my phone, and I came up with a list of what I consider to be the five best productivity apps that you can start using right now without paying a single thing. Now, one of the reasons that there are so many of these types of apps is that it's really easy to make it a do list app or a calendar app. And so the phone and Windows and Mac app stores are filled with lots and lots of apps which all have slightly different features, but try to do the same thing namely helping you to organize, prioritize, and schedule tasks to help you stay productive at work and in your personal life. I focused down on the ones that I found to be the most beneficial, the easiest to use, and also the most effective ones, and all of the apps that I'll be mentioning in this video work across Android and iPhone and on your computer, and all of them are gonna be completely free. So there's really no excuse not to give them a try and start using them. So here are the best free productivity apps to use this year. So my first recommendation is going to be for Forest. Forest is an iOS and Android app which uses game design principles to make time tracking and work sessions more interesting. When you start Forest Timer, a tree starts growing. Switch to a different app before the timer is up and the tree dies. Each successful focus block adds a tree to your virtual forest and gives you some gold coins that you can trade for new kinds of trees and power-ups. If you trade in enough gold coins, the company even plants real trees for you. Now, Forest started out as a Pomodoro timer, but the team has since added a function that tracks your screen time. You can also tag each focus block and get a report on where you spend your time. The main goal of using Forest is to be more productive and more focused while you're studying or working. Every time I jump into a work session, I basically set my timer from Forest and I start growing a tree. Every study or work session you have, it gives you a tree and every single time you try, for example, to check your emails, check social media, watch YouTube videos when you're studying, it gives you a warning that says, go back to your studying, go back to working, because if you're gonna continue watching this video, your tree is going to die. By using the tree system and taking over your phone or computer, it essentially prevents distractions like YouTube or Instagram. It's really effective if you struggle with reaching for your phone when working or studying, and the tree growing is an effective deterrent. Now I've used it for a number of months to try and further reduce how frequently I do things like checking emails and it's simple and very helpful and you can also do things like group study sessions to further incentivize you to avoid distractions where if one person gets distracted, everyone's tree and forest dies. Now there are loads of habit tracking apps available as habit trackers are pretty easy to make and I'll be doing videos looking at the best habit trackers for studying and how you can make your own habit tracker in Excel and Notion. So make sure to hit subscribe to get notified when they drop. But my next recommendation is for a habit tracker which combines role-playing game mechanics and applies game design to incentivize you to track and complete your habits. Habitica is a habit tracking app in which you can track anything and receive points just like in a role-playing game. You start by selecting a character with a health and an experience bar and you can create habits, set up daily tasks and generally manage your projects. You're rewarded for ticking off good habits and you can also break your bad habits, which is a really nice feature. The more positive things you accomplish in the app, the more money and experience your character gains and you can then buy items and equipment for your character, which incentivizes you to track and complete things. Equally, the health bar acts as a deterrent if you don't log things. One of the best things about Habitica is that there are a lot of people using the app, so there's a huge community. Habitica has a guild and group feature system where friends can create challenges every single week and you can build your own team and create a challenge for other people for a daily task or a daily habit. And if one of the team members skips a day, then all of the other people in the team are gonna take damage to their character and lose health points. Equally, teams can earn more experience together. This all drives accountability, just like having a study buddy or a gym buddy. As a quick bonus here, if you're not into the gamification element and you just want a minimalist habit tracker that you can jump into quickly, I'd recommend checking out Habitify or Habit Tracker, which are very simple, very quick, and minimalist habit trackers that plug into Apple HealthKit to automate some tracking for you. So my next recommendation is gonna be for Asana, which is one of the best and simplest task tracking productivity tools out there. The free version gives you lots of flexibility, and I'm recommending this over similar tools like Todoist, Notion, or ClickUp, as it's really easy to use and allows you to manage projects, set and prioritize tasks, and view things by date or in a Kanban board or list format. 
There's even a hidden setting that displays cool animations including a narwhal when you complete tasks. I use Asana all the time for breaking down my projects into tasks and subtasks and you can share and delegate tasks to help you stay productive and work on the things that matter the most. If I'm studying, giving presentations or planning a trip, I'll use Asana to break things down into to-do tasks so that I don't forget anything and I set myself deadlines to complete the tasks by. You can do lots of nice things here like forwarding emails and creating tasks from other apps to save you time and if you're looking for an app to help you manage projects and track your to-do lists or track your goals then Asana is going to be my biggest recommendation for you. I actually use Asana for planning my YouTube videos for this YouTube channel where I have a template for researching and mapping out content, thumbnails and coordinating editing and publishing. My next recommendation is for Calendly. Now I use Google Calendar to time block out pretty much everything that I do and set boundaries for when I'm available to stay as productive and focused as possible. Calendly connects to my Google Calendar, reviews my availability and then allows me to set times when I'm available for meetings, events and catch ups. I can then share my Calendly link with others or in my email signature so people can book in automatically without me doing lots of back and forth around my availability. For things like online courses or events, Calendly is also excellent and if you're running a coaching business or needing to schedule things like study sessions with friends and find loads of your time is consumed by trying to accommodate people's availability, Calendly is really simple and has some amazingly powerful features like allowing people to vote on the best time for a group meeting and it also integrates with Zoom or other tools to automate the actual booking of meetings and it sends out automated email reminders to make sure people attend and turn up on time. Now my final productivity recommendation is Evernote. I've chosen to go with Evernote as my note-taking recommendation over alternatives like Notion or using Google Docs as it's simple to use, saving your notes into organized notebooks and allows for tagging and organization of notes in the cloud. Evernote's been around for a while, but it's remained focused in the note-taking space with powerful features on the free tier such as web clipping, where you can quickly save interesting articles from the web and allows you to take pictures of books quickly from your phone. I use Evernote as a second brain, storing any thoughts, mind maps, and saving quotes from books and clips from the web, just like in my video on how to remember everything you read. Evernote also features tasks and audio notes and has templates, so I'd highly recommend trying it out and starting to keep notes organized, which you can come back to whether for studying, for work, or for your own ongoing learning. As a quick bonus final app, I'm gonna recommend Spark Email. Now, getting your email to the inbox zero is one productivity challenge that everyone should take on this year. Now, lots of classic email systems like Microsoft's or Apple's tend to just place all of your inbox messages one after another. Spark is really cool as it prioritizes things that might be spam, it collects things like newsletters or things you don't need to read, and really does the work of a virtual assistant scanning through your inbox and prioritizing things you need to respond to. You can also set up things like email templates if you're using similar phrases or replying to similar types of emails, which I use all the time to automate things and speed up my life in general. For me, I use it across my iPhone and on my Mac, and it quickly allows me to get to inbox zero without too much fuss. Now, I hope you found these recommendations useful. If you have any suggestions for productivity apps that you use regularly, do share them below in the comments as I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, do hit the button and I'll catch you again in the next video.